Beautiful. I was at the airport today and um, I was talking to the guy in customs. He said, what were you doing in Banff? And I said, I was at a television festival. And he said, oh, what do you do? I said, I create TV. Oh, what's your show? I said, it's called Transparent. He said, what's it about? And I said, a woman whose parent comes out as transgender. And he goes, oh, like Bruce Jenner. And I was like, yes, I talked to Bruce Jenner. I talked to Caitlyn. Yeah, the, show, the show really was kind of the reason that they came out. Uh, and I was like, I'm just joking. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I'm like, I have nothing to do with that. But the truth was, like, and then my sister and I were walking and my, si my sister works on the show as well. And we think about where we were two years ago with this story where I was sort of like, can I tell this story? Will I be able to move through the world with people knowing that my parent is trans? And even like a little bit of shame, like it, it, I was kind of afraid and my parent was afraid. And now Kim Kardashian and Chloe and Kendall and Kylie, we're all the same. <laughs> <laughs> we, all, we all have the same thing going on. And yeah, it's totally normal. It's crazy. You were ahead okay. of your time. It's totally crazy. Yeah. <laughs> There was a big controversy over, over this um, New York Times op-ed that came out uh, over the weekend. There's this kind of vague infighting that's happening between the feminist community and trans women. And, and, and honestly, it is a very small minority of, of women. For the most part, feminists and trans women get along. But this feminist conversation is like really starting to rise up. And it's, um, it's exciting as a feminist to have these conversations. Are you talking about the, the, the focus of the looks of Caitlyn. Right, what, yes, you know, there was a, there was, yes. been a lot of discussion. Yes, and whether or not, and, and what makes a woman, and you know, this is a conversation we hope to have um, season two, but this is, so anyway, oh, what I wanted to say is there is a book called Whipping Girl by Julia Serrano. And for me, I feel like once somebody reads Whipping Girl, you can't really have that argument anymore. She's so succinctly, and I, I bought like hundreds of copies, gave it to everybody on my set. It really sort of exactly um, pinpoints the difference between trans misogyny and transphobia, that people don't really have issues with trans men in the same way they do with trans women, and that femininity and the presentation of femininity is sort of this kind of, uh, everybody feels like they get to weigh in on whether or not somebody should or shouldn't be attractive, and it's, it's about being attractive to men. That totally changed me. It completely transformed me, and it, 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 it gave the show a sort of a trans feminist perspective that I hope that everybody gets a chance to read. Thank <laughs> you.